Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, my uh, kids are not making it easy. <laughs> if you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you could tell by the title of the video, my Smashbox. Always on skin balancing foundation with hyaluronic acid and adaptogens foundation. <laughs> here so we're going to uh, try this foundation out do a little bit of a wear test um, and see if it's a good one i figured with all the claims it has it could be a possible contender for my wedding day uh, so far i have three different options that i absolutely love so i really want to test this out to see if maybe this is the one i also purchased the new real techniques uh, sponge that they just came out with it's a miracle two in one powder puff you're supposed to be able to apply powders and liquids with this bad boy kind of reminds me of the good old haughty beauty one that she came out with okay let's get started because this intro is already longer than i wish it was <laughs> Okay, my lovelies. Um, it's been a good minute since I have tried anything for a Smashbox. I did not purchase the concealer. So I did get a sample of the Halo Smashbox skin tint, whatnot, whatever it is. And it's nice, but I didn't like fall in love with it or I don't know. It was just okay. So when I saw that they were coming out with that new concealer, um, it didn't really interest me. But when they announced this bad boy right here, I was like, okay, now that interests me. Since I am on the hunt for the perfect foundation for my wedding day. That's why. <laughs> so I purchased it through Ulta and it actually got to me a little bit later than I'm used to when I order from Ulta. Um, I do have a local Ulta. It's the only local makeup store around here. The next one, which is Sephora, is like two and a half hours away. And of course, since it's such a small town, they rarely have any of the new launches in a store. So I didn't even bother to look and see if they got it. Well, it turns out they did, but I had already placed my order, so I had to wait. <laughs> okay, so the Always On Skin Balancing Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and Adaptogens. It is available in 30 different shades and it retails for $45, so it's a little bit of a pricey foundation. It has one fluid ounce and a 24 month shelf life, and it was made in Canada. Okay, so I am on the Ulta website and I'll read the claims for this foundation. Smashbox Always On Skin Balancing Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid Adaptogens is their innovative long wearing foundation with skin balancing oil control and hydration that supports skin instantly and over time. Buildable coverage for a visibly even natural look and 16 hour color true wear. Okay, that sounds super promising. So I had a tiny bit of a hard time picking a shade. The first one I thought could possibly be it was L30N, which is level three light with a neutral undertone. A hundred percent though, when I looked at the model wearing this foundation, this shade L30N, it looked a tiny bit dark. So I got the feeling that this was running a little bit dark. So instead I went with L20N, which here is described as a level two light with a neutral undertone. And the model just looks a lot closer to what my skin tone is. Um, I did already watch Magdalene Janet's review and it looks like these shades are running a tiny bit on the dark side and they do oxidize. So I'm actually really stoked that I picked up this shade. And one with my gut. So yeah, okay, let's get this foundation on my face. Okay, primers are already on. Wet n Wild Primer Serum for the T-Zone. I went into this Smashbox uh, mattifying primer. I do enjoy this primer. I know it works well. So I made sure to stick with primers that I know work well with my skin and the Makeup Forever Hydra Boost for the perimeters of my face. I also purchased this new little utensil or tool from 
Real Techniques. It's a Miracle 2-in-1 powder puff and makeup blender. It retails for $6.59. I also placed an order for two of these with my Smashbox order. So the Real Techniques Miracle 2-in-1 powder puff is a multi-purpose puff designed to work with powders, liquids, and creams for a soft, seamless base. I was very, very intrigued because... Miss Tati Beauty came out with this. So this kind of reminds me of this. And we are going to try this out for the foundation and then I'll also use a brush. All right, this is the um, like soft plush side and then the other side is the sponge. It does have the little ribbon so you can hold it. It does feel like a sponge. Okay, I wonder if you should wet this. I mean, I usually wet my sponge, so that's something like, should I wet this? <laughs> okay, here is what the bottle for the Smashbox foundation looks like. It does have a pump. Let me shake it. Okay, you can hear it, so maybe it's a tiny bit liquidy. Hopefully the pumps aren't too big. Okay, perfect. So that's not a full pump, which I'm okay with because I prefer when I can pump just a tiny bit at a time okay there is the shade i have a feeling this is going to be an okay match i wouldn't say it's 100 percent neutral i would say it's more warm neutral than anything but i'm excited it feels lightweight okay so i'm going to start with this side and like i said i already have my primers on okay I like starting small. So I'm going to grab the Real Techniques and I'm actually going to spray it with the MAC Fix Plus. Just because I personally wet my sponge, you know? So it just doesn't feel right to go in with a dry sponge. Okay, that actually did blend it out okay let me add some more i'm doing very small pumps i like to build my coverage up it feels very lightweight no scent to it just chemicals that go into a foundation scent i'm gonna spray my sponge again tapping the excess And I think because I'm going in layers and going in light, it's actually applying really, really nice. It does not look heavy at all. Okay, so here is what half of the face is looking like. So I have foundation on this side and no foundation on this side. I would say I have... Even though I used half a pump, I think it was about half a pump, I do feel like the sponge absorbed some of it, not too much. I definitely feel like if I wouldn't have sprayed, setting spray on it, it would have absorbed more, but I am not mad at what I'm looking at. I feel like this actually worked decently. It blended out everything pretty well. I feel like the foundation is sunk into my skin. Yeah, so far so good. So I feel like if you are somebody who travels a lot, this might be a pretty neat little tool because you have a sponge on one side and then if you powder with a puff, you have it on the other. I bet you you could probably use this side for your cream blush, cream contour, cream bronzer. So far, so good i think i think they might have nailed it <laughs> yeah that looks good okay let me go ahead and apply this side and i am going to use my smashbox stippling foundation brush and see if it looks any different with the sponge than it does with a brush i have a feeling i'll probably get more coverage with the brush than i did with the sponge but let's go in and so far i feel like the color match is decent i left the swatch on here so we could see if it oxidizes and i feel like it does get a tiny bit darker okay 
Okay, let me bring you in closer. Okay, sponge side and brush side. I definitely feel like I used less product with a brush than I did with the sponge, but I do feel like it just sunk in a tiny bit better on the sponge side. And it's not by a lot, it's like the minor, minor detail that I'm noticing. But I will say, this foundation is a very soft formula. It almost is giving my skin a blurring effect. I hope you can see what I'm talking about. Because when I look in the mirror, it almost looks like I have a soft satin kind of finish. So far, I feel this looks really good. Feels very lightweight. I can barely, f I, actually, I can't even feel it on my face. It blended out like a dream. I wasn't sure how it was going to go because sometimes um, some formulas, especially if they're really good with longevity, they dry super fast. Like that new Gucci, um, Eternite, the Makeup Forever, the HD, that one dries really fast, the Dior Matte, like a lot of those formulas that claim to be very long lasting and ones I have tried are, they just dry super quick. And this one, I had no issues with it drying really fast. But so far, I don't prefer one side over the other. They actually both look beautifully. So let me go ahead and finish off the rest of my face. We'll be back, get to the where it has started, and then we'll finish off this video. Okay, I'm in the middle of finishing my makeup, but I wanted to hop on here real quick because the foundation has been sitting on my face throughout the cream products and it's not completely dry, but if you are somebody who doesn't like to powder, I think you could get away with not powdering this foundation. To me, it doesn't feel completely dry. I think it's been at least 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 20. And yeah, it does not feel completely dry. Also, um, I don't like this for like blush application. I feel like if it was a normal sponge where it would be like soaked and then you squeeze out the excess water, then I feel like it would have worked a tiny bit better. Yeah, it just, it did okay. Not the easiest. See how it looks maybe a tiny bit patchy here. Yeah, so I do feel like you could probably get away with not powdering this foundation. Okay, we're going to now try the puff side of this Real Techniques tool. I'm a little excited. I'm always on the search for that perfect puff because I feel like I found it, the Tati Beauty. I have both the regular big one and the little heart mini one. Those are my favorite puffs for powdering under my eyes. I have not found one that I love as much as those. I don't know if it's the material. It must be the material, but it just, it does such an amazing job. So I have set my under eyes with my MAC Fix Plus. And for today, we're gonna use the NARS uh, Translucent Crystal Pressed Powder. And I'm going to, I always tap the excess. Okay, that actually is working pretty good. Sorry if I cover you with 
the mirror i honestly don't do it on purpose i just sometimes need to really get in there okay so far so good it's a little bit bulky to like bend it but i can make it work i'll see in a couple of minutes if my under eyes are going to crease more than they normally do Okay, my lovelies, we're just about done. I went in to the e.l.f. Uh, Precise Brow Pencil, the Refi Beauty Gel. Not the new one, the one that's supposed to give you the lamination effect. The new What's Up Beauty Watch Me Mascara. A review should be up of that already. And now I'm going to jump into this little Ilya. It's like a lip and cheek product. I've actually been loving this. It's like a lipstick. The shade is so so pretty kkw honey too it just looks so good with this lip liner let's take a look i will go ahead and link everything else that i used down below but let's take a look at this complexion shall we okay so here is what the foundation looks like and as you saw i did powder it i always have to powder <laughs> What do my um, under eyes look like? My under eyes actually look really, really good. Foundation also looks really, really good. Why don't you tell me what you think? Right now, I feel like it looks like a soft satin matte. I feel the shade match is a good shade match. Okay, let me scoot you on out. We're going to do a wear test. I finished applying the foundation around one o'clock. This Real Techniques tool, I bought two of them. Is there like a specific name for them? No, there's no specific name, but I think they're onto something. I will have to keep using it. I definitely feel like it's a tool that you have to maneuver and figure out how you like to use it best. I So this is, you know, the Real Technique sponge. That's what this is here on this side. I don't know if I usually wet my sponges. That's how I enjoy to use my sponges. And the fact that I can't wet this whole thing because it's going to ruin the fiber side. And not ruin, but like I can't really set my under eyes with a wet puff. At least I haven't tried. Or it did what it said it was supposed to do. If you are going to try this out, I would definitely say spray the sponge side before going in with your products. Okay, my lovelies. I am pretty much done with the application and everything. I'll go ahead and hand you on over to Mary for the wear test. I don't know if it's going to be here or if I'm just going to use my phone for the first and probably only check-in. Uh, hubby's away at work. He will actually be gone for three weeks this time. So pray for me. <laughs> oh, Hartley girl, my twin girl did not nap. And Wyatt is down. <laughs> Let me go ahead and hand you on over to check-in Mary. Okay, my lovelies. Hi, here for the check-in. The first and only check-in I'll be doing. It is about 10 p.m. at night and I finished applying this Smashbox uh, foundation at 1 p.m. About a nine hour wear test. And this is where we are. I have eaten, as you can tell. We went to go have Mexican food, the kids and I. I had a margarita. So this has been on and it's been through the ringer. I went outside. Um, it was pretty warm today. I also watered the grass in the front and in the back. I've been moving. I've been, I've been moving. So I did test it out just a tiny bit and I feel like it actually looks pretty good. Mm. I'm looking in the mirror in front of me and 
I don't feel like any of it has really faded away. This right here, I think it's from biting into my sandwich, but everything looks intact. My kids, you know, they, they beat on me, they touch my face, they hug me. I kiss them throughout the day. So I feel like it looks really good. Here, let me move to a different mirror so you can get a different, right? Like it looks really, I don't know what happened here. I think a bug bit me. I feel like it looks really, really good. Okay. Well, that's going to conclude this video and this eight hour wear test of this new Smashbox foundation. I hope this review helps you out in deciding whether you want to pick this uh, product up or not. And I did forget to mention it in the video um, earlier. I always put my information in the description box below, my age, skin type, preference, all that good stuff that you need to know as far as foundation and base products make sure to check that out down below in case you need a reference okay well let me go ahead and hand you over to outro mary all right my lovelies well thank you so much for being here i appreciate every single one of you you have no idea all the comments all the likes if you use my links to shop it truly does mean the world to me you already know how the wear test went i have a feeling it went fairly well i'm actually pretty excited it's the first foundation review that i do for smashbox so maybe this is a good sign that they'll come back on the radar and come up with a couple of other things let me know down below if you picked this up or if you're just waiting to see some reviews like mine. Okay, well, with that being said, I would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm of hopefully bringing some new and fresh eyes to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you joined my small YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button. I would love to have you. All right, my lovelies, I will see you all on the next video. Bye.